Yep, I've heard it all. I'm bought and paid for. Who paid for the, who paid you for the review? Uh, no, Samsung paid for this video. Uh, no, OnePlus paid for this video. Uh, no, your mama paid for this video. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to Tech Talk Vids. And uh, I'm doing this video early as F in the morning because I just, I see in the comments and they're like, oh, Samsung must have paid for this video. Well, uh, there's no way that he really thinks that the OnePlus 12 is better than the iPhone. Yeah, I do. In fact, it's... They're saying because, you know, some, you know, one of the comments was, oh, because somebody was linked to you, a service you used in the past, and they didn't pay, and they blocked. That's why the iPhone sucks compared to the OnePlus or the Galaxy S24 Ultra. No, you clearly didn't hear the review or where I'm coming from with it. The iPhone has got more buggy and had more issues Year over year since the iPhone 11. It's just got, they keep instituting new stuff. I appreciate it. Cinematic mode, all of that. But it also has issues and problems. From Face ID not working to Apple Pay randomly not working. And before someone goes, oh, you don't, you, you don't use Apple Pay. Da -da -da -da. I got my own Apple card, bro. So... Before you say, mm, man, you're just hating on Apple, MacBook, Mac Studio, and I've had every iPhone that has ever been released. You know, the iPhone is kind of like some of y'all's trolls' dads that went out for a pack of cigarettes and get some milk and never came home. Mm. All right, that might have been a low blow, like your mom's. But let's just be honest. Apple, in terms of their quality, their software, and this is the la you know this last year, it's the first time that an iPhone has effectively been hacked, and bank accounts could be drained. And facial recognition and data stored on your phone was accessible. And before you say, the iPhone is unhackable, the iPhone can't be hacked. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. You know why Huawei phones aren't allowed in the United States right now? Why Huawei phones were banned? Not, it wasn't because, uh, well, yeah, it is because the Chinese government has something to do with Huawei. But it's because Huawei refused to give backdoor access to the U.S. government. It's facts. And when Huawei didn't want to play ball and give the NSA backdoor access, they gave it to them up the back door. Now, Apple, on the other hand, you hear all this stuff about, oh, it's so secure, it can't be cracked. I don't know if you know about this thing, but there's this little thing called the United States Code. Okay, it's the law that the federal government uh, enforces. And under U.S. code, no level of encryption can be created. And I'm telling you as somebody who's worked as an NSA contractor, no level of encryption can be created that the United States government cannot crack. It is illegal. So before you tell me, mm, the iPhone is the most secure phone ever. Mm, no, it's not. I'll tell you a phone that's more secure than the iPhone. This one right here. Yep. Let me tell you why. This one has an operating system on it. I can't do anything with. Yeah, you could jailbreak it you know, at different times as they come out with different exploits. It's possible, right? This one, I can bootload or unlock this and put whatever software I want on it. I can completely remove Google from this device. Because here's the thing. You, 
Apple fanboys are in the comments talking about, mm, he's just a dick writer, he just hates Apple. No, I don't like Google either. You know, it really pisses me off when I see that shit and people go, mm, you know, he's hating on Apple. No, I'm not. All of my computing devices outside of, you know, I'm, I've, I'm, I'm not going to bullshit you. I have been making changes. We have the uh, Acer Nitro 5 with the i7 and, a 40, and the uh, uh, RTX or GTX 4050 in it. Yeah, we've been, we've been making some changes. I'm not supporting a company. I'm not going to support a company like Apple that does the shit they're doing now. Okay, now I've already read the just create another i uh, just create another uh, iCloud account so you could yeah okay. So what about the I don't know six hundred or so plus dollars in apps that I've purchased? Yes, they're still on my phone. They will still work, but every time they need to update, they're going to try to access that old account that is now blocked. For something Apple can't even tell me. I'm not going to support a company that does that shit. I'm just not going to do it. And here's the thing. After the first video, some one of you enterprising uh, geniuses out there put it in an Apple group. Thanks for the views. I appreciate it. One of y'all put it on Reddit or some other shit. I appreciate it. And I actually got a follow-up from Apple support. And they finally told me what it was. So, evidently, uh, somebody, and I'm not going to put them on blast, but a female that I dated many, many, many years ago, had an uh, Apple Music account. Or, I guess, was it still called Apple Music or iTunes Music or whatever? And what happened was, evidently, they purchased a ton of music. And then they charged it back on their credit card. And Apple was out like 700 and something bucks. They gave me a ballpark. They can't tell me for whatever legal reasons the exact number. Now, if I'm willing, because I shared my uh, music or whatever with them, if I was willing to pay that, I could get access to my account. Now, granted, all of my I can still log in. I still have access to all of my photos, all of my stuff. So you can still see... All of the pictures, every, all my videos, all of my stuff is still there. So that's not a problem. It's the, now if I want to buy apps again, I either have to create a, another app, another app store account, or I got to pay Apple 700 bucks for some shit that's not my responsibility. I'm not fucking with a company that does that. So instead of Apple acknowledged that it's not my responsibility, but their new policy says anybody that's connected if you're any, this is a huge red flag. If you've ever been in a family circle or any of that, get out of it. If anybody in that circle F's up, you're screwed. Now I know you're going to say, well, what does that mean for your, your Apple card? Well, here's the other thing about Apple. It's not just Apple. It's also Goldman Sachs. So... Goldman Sachs wants my $15,000 in business. It's not going anywhere. Circling back, though, you can't really think that the OnePlus 12 is better than the iPhone. Yeah, I can. And it's not just that. You know, the days of this phone having insane resale value, like, we're almost six months in since this phone was released, right? These, this phone, all right, 512 gigabyte variant of this phone is selling for about 650 to 700 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I know you could put it on Swappa. I know you could put it on a bunch of different services. That's cool. Cool story, bro. I don't, I don't care, okay? I'm talking about actual cash that I could deal with in the city, sell a phone. This thing already lost half its value. iPhones year after year, have got less and less and less. And if you don't believe that, I'm sure my, my dude, Tech702, will probably do a video on it. He's dealt with it year after year as he sells his iPhones and gets, you know, pays 1500 1600 for the one terabyte version and gets like 700 bucks for the phone. 
It's it's a, and well before the new phones coming out. It's a disaster. This phone, on the other hand, granted, it's only been out a month or two, but with the discounts and everything, this phone's what seven hundred bucks? Seven hundred bucks with the discounts, trade in, all that good shit. I can still get six fifty, six hundred bucks out of this phone. Resale value better than this real sub value. Okay. Um, battery life bazillion times better. In fact, I wish, let me, let me see if I can go to battery in the settings real quick. This has been off the charger for a while. Um, let's see. Yeah. Used since last charge. I want you to see that the last charge was five hours and 13 minutes ago. Where's the battery at? Where's the battery at? The battery's still at a hundred friggin' percent. If I leave this and I don't use it off the charger in five hours, this thing's at like 92% from a hundred. Now I just took this one off the charger. So as far as battery management and all of that, this kicks this ass. Just facts. You want to know what else this phone can do that this phone can't do? Let me show you this nifty little feature it has. It's kind of cool, man. You know, there's a couple of other phones out there that can do it. But um, I want you guys to see this. Can y'all see that right there? What does it say? Oh, that's right. 8K. I know. Wait a minute. It's got to be in here. There's got to be a setting on this. You know, $1,500 iPhone. They got to have a... Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. It's at 4K. Now, I know you're going to say, well, the new iPhone's going to have 8K. The new iPhone... I heard that last year. The new iPhone's going to have 8K. I don't care. The biggest thing I can tell you is this. If I do a video, I'm not for sale. Nobody is ever paying me to do a video. Because... As much as I will tell you I like this phone, I'll rub my balls on this and throw it in the trash in a second if there's something better. I'm not dick riding on OnePlus. I'm not dick riding on Samsung. I'm just speaking facts. And this phone is like the food stamp phone for me right now. This is the phone that I throw in the glove box. This is the phone that sits under the counter in the bedroom in case one of my other phones are too low and I'm going out, then I use it. Yeah, it's got a, it's got a SIM card in it. What is it? Helio or some bullshit mobile. It's got a food stamp SIM in it because it's the food stamp phone. I'm not doing, and I know Apple fans are going to be so mad that I'm calling this a food stamp phone, but it's a food stamp phone. Get over it. You ain't got to like it. If you're an Apple fanboy and you love Apple shit, Swing from Tim Cook's nuts. Good for you. If you're a Samsung fanboy, swing from Samsung's balls. I don't care. I don't swing from anybody's nuts. But I will smash their moms. And with that, we're going to close out the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'd love to see you Apple and OnePlus fans talk shit to each other in the comments. Makes my day. Till next time, stay petty, my friends.